Hello K5! We are going to be talking about our character development word for the week. Character development. Oh, those are two big words. The word I want you to remember is character. Having good character, having godly character is pleasing to the Lord. So one of our character words we learned last week was, do you remember? I don't want to show you yet. Do you remember? It started with an H. Ha, 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 ha. Let's see. If you said helpful, you said the right thing. Helpful. Being helpful is when you are choosing to give someone aid when they need it. Maybe you notice that they are having trouble and you go and help them. Hopefully you were helpful last week with mom or dad or grandma. I know that they would love your help. Even at five and six years old, you can be a help. So our word this week, it's a hard word. I'm going to show you it. You might not know how to read it, but I'm going to tell you what it is. The word is courteous. Courteous. Being courteous. It's about having good manners. So let's look at these children at school. They are having good manners with each other. It looks like they're having lunch. And it looks like this little girl has two apples. Hmm. Well, it also looks like maybe the little boy didn't have any apples. So she wanted to share her apples. Do you know that the Bible talks about this very thing? In 1 Peter 3.8, it says that God wants us to be polite. And in all we do and say, whether we eat or drink, whatever we do, we're supposed to give God the glory. Do you think God would want us to be selfish with our apples? No, he wouldn't. Excuse me, please and thank you are all good manner words. Do you say excuse me? when you need to talk to mom and she's busy? Do you say thank you when dad gives you something? And do you say please when you really need something? There are many courteous or polite words we should learn to say. What polite word should you use when you're asking for something? Do you say, I want it now. Is that what you should say? No, no. You should say please. And then if you are given what you asked for, please don't walk away without saying thank you. Being courteous. Now, we're at home or we're with our family right now, so we're not around our uh, friends at school. But when we get back to school, this is also super important to be courteous at school. Wow. When someone says, good morning, boys and girls, what should you say back? You should say, good morning, Mrs. DeSellier, or whoever said good morning to you. Have you noticed that each morning when you come into the school, I say good morning to you? Sometimes I say, Good morning. Sometimes I say your name. I might say, good morning, Tyler. Good morning, Brantley. Sometimes I say your name. So you can be courteous by saying, good morning, Mrs. DeSellier. Sometimes we come to school and we are not awake. So our faces look like this. But you know what? I want to see your happy face. I want to see that you're glad to see me, even if you're tired. So we try and get those muscles up in our face so we can give a good morning, Mrs. DeSellier. So can you try it with me? Good morning, Mrs. DeSellier. I bet you did a great job. So being courteous at school, being courteous with our friends, and being courteous at your house. What that looks like is you having patience and being respectful to your mom and dad, especially to whoever is in charge. Maybe it's a babysitter. 
Maybe it's a big brother or a big sister and they need you to do something. They need you to clean your room or finish your work. So I want you to do great today, having great manners. And I love you and I'll talk to you later.